hallelujah hallelujah praise god praise god wherever you are my name is pastor john ngaho of blessings revival center church in the county of kiambu a place known as kigumo in this country of kenya and this time i am coming to you because i want to give you a message of god and i want to tell you that god wants to have a personal relationship with you god wants to have a personal relationship with you god wants you to delight in him so my message today will be in uh, delighting in god i want us to pray so that i can start the sermon of today and i know that god shall bless you and shall uplift you father in the name of jesus i thank you and i worship you because you're jehovah thank you father because you've been together with me thank you father because we've been together with your people May all the glory, may all the honor be unto you, Jehovah. Thank you, Father, for the protection that you're giving each and every person who is listening to this sermon. And as we continue sharing your message, may you, Father, continue being together with us from the beginning of this sermon to the end of this message. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because I know the Lord Jesus, without you, we can do nothing. Without you, Jesus, we are nobody. Without you, Jesus, your people can never be good people we all give you glory we all give you honor in the name of jesus thank you father because i know the lord jesus even your angels are going to surround us wherever each and every person is and your holy spirit is going to be with us as we hear your word as we hear your message in the name of jesus we do pray trusting and believing amen amen god bless you god bless you wherever you are I remind you my name is Pastor John Gaho of Blessings Revival Center Church in the county of Kiambu a place known as Kigumo and I want you to sit down relax wherever you are be it in the office be it that you're in a car or in a vehicle going back home or going to work be it that you're in your house relaxing I want you to sit down relax your muscles and be ready to listen to the word of God And as I told you in the beginning is that God wants to have a personal relationship with you. Therefore my message uh, right now is delighting in God. And I'll start by telling you as I have started by telling you that God wants to have a personal relationship with each and every person of uh, uh, amongst us. God wants to have a personal relationship with everybody. He wants to have a personal relationship with you personally. He is the God of the individual believer through Jesus Christ. And he delights in us just as we delight in those we love. Oh hallelujah. And I tell you that the highest and the holiest experience we can have is a worshipfulness delight of the Lord. I repeat that the highest and the holiest experience we can have is the worshipful delight of the lord that is the most highest and the holiest experience that we can have the worshipful delight of the lord and all this message that i'm going to give you is going to come from psalms chapter 18 from verse 20 to verse 27 and you read when you read psalms 18 From verse 18 you'll know that that God wants to have that personal relationship with you. And in this passage it is going to give us an insight into how we can delight in God and how he delights in us. When you read Psalms 18 from verse 20 to verse 27 along that passage you're going to understand that God is going to be happy when we are going to have a good relationship with him a personal relationship with him you might be asking yourself how God delights in us the first thing that you have to understand is how does one delight God And I'll tell you my brother and my sister by one's character by your character that is how 
one delight in God through your character. If you look at Psalms chapter 18 and verse 20, you'll see that David had integrity. He was not free from sin, but his heart was devoted to God. If you look at verse 20, we are, we are looking at Psalms chapter 18 and verse 20. You will see that David himself, he was not free from sin. He was a sinful person, but his heart was devoted to God. He was a righteous man. And when you talk about David being a righteous man, he, it means that David was obedient. I underline the word obedient. Even if David was, a, was not free from sin, he was an obedient man. And David was very obedient. Look at uh, uh, Psalms chapter 18, verse 21 and verse 22. He had the word of God in his heart. David had the word of God in his heart. He meditated the word of God because it was in his heart. And God delights in us when we do what he wants us to do the way he wants us to do it. Oh my God. I repeat to you, my brother and my sister, that God delights in us when we do what he wants us to do and the way he wants us to do to do it. If you look at Matthew chapter 3 and verse 17, that is where you can be able to see that. God wants us to do things the way he wants us to do them. Not the way we want us, we want to do them. It is the way God wants us to do things. When we do that, we are going to be obedient to him. And we are going to delight God. What count is that he delights in what we do, not what our neighbors think about us. God is happy because of what we do ourselves. God is happy because of what you do, the way he wants you to do it, not the way you want to do it. God is not happy. God is not delighted by what your neighbors are thinking about you. God wants you to serve him. God wants you to make him happy. Because whatever you do the way he wants you to do it is what delights him. The second thing is how does God deal with those in whom he delights? And I'll tell you that he treats us the same way we treat him. If you look at Psalms chapter 18 verse 25 to verse 27, you'll understand that God treats us the way we treat him. If you love God, he will love you. If you worship God, God will make sure that those people who see you respects you. We are as close to God as we want to be. My brother and my sister, we are as close to God as we want to be. If you want to be far from God, even God is going to be far from you. If you want to be close to God, even God is going to be close to you. Oh, hallelujah. If you love sin, God is going to be very far from you. If you are obedient, God is going to obey every prayer that you do to him. He's going to listen. He's going to do as you want him to do to you. So God was able to bless David because he was fully and wholly devoted to him. He respected God. He was a person who was obedient to God. He was a righteous man. Oh my. David was merciful to those who wronged him. God was merciful to him too. If you look at verse 25 in chapter 18 of Psalms, you'll see that David, he was a very merciful person. He was a person, a king who was full of mercy. And he was merciful to everybody. Anybody who wronged him was very merciful. And due to that, when he went to God and asked for mercy, he was given mercy. If you look at the same verse 25 of chapter 18 in Psalms 18, you'll see that David was royal. And I used not royal, but loyal to God. You know, I'm a kikuyu. And our accent between R and L is a problem. 
David was very loyal to God. And David being loyal to God, God became also loyal to him. You'll see that in I'm reading in Psalms chapter 20 uh, chapter 18 and verse 25 and that is my understanding. David being loyal to God, even God became loyal to him. David was also pure. He was also submissive and he was also a humble man. For David being pure, that means whatever prayer that he was doing before God, God was answering him. For David being submissive to God, whatever he submitted himself to God, even God made sure that anything that David asked from him, he was given by Jehovah. David was also a humble man before God. And therefore God was quick in answering his prayers. In contrast, Saul, we read in the Bible, was devious. He was shrewd. He was a man who wanted to wrestle, wanted to fight. And God wrestles with us as he did with Jacob. God fights with us the same way he did with Jacob. Remember the angel. When we are perverse and devious, God fights with us. God sends diseases. God sends bad things to us when we want to fight with him. One time I had a person continuously saying that there is no God. And the next thing I saw with that person is that the person became ill. And finally, he had to confess that truly there is God in heaven. And that is when the disease that he was having came to an end. I want to tell you, the moment we wrestle with God, the moment we fight with God, God fights back. If you look at our parents, they fight with us. They fight with us and their children when they are disciplining us. And therefore, I will tell you, when you see God lestering with you, it's because he wants to bring us where he wants us to be. So that then he can delight in us. God doesn't beat us. God doesn't doesn't fight us so that we can be far away from us. He disciplines us. His work is to give us discipline, to make him or to make us come closer to him. And after we are closer to him, he delights in us. I said the first thing that you need to know is how does one delight in God? And I said that it that is through character. The second thing is how does God deal with those in whom he delights? And I've told you that God treats you the same way you treat him. The third thing, how can we increase our delight in God and his delight in us? How are you going to increase the delight in your God and his delight in you? Oh my God. Believe, believe that he wants you to be happy. Happiness and holiness go together. Submit to and enjoy God's will but not gladly. He will give us the best. When we delight in him and he delights in us, life becomes delightful and we bring glory to our father's name. With that question, I repeat my brother and my sister, is how can we increase our delight in God and his delight in us? And we just need to believe that he wants us to be happy and after that, you have to know that happiness and holiness go together. You can't be happy without happiness. You can't be happy without holiness. You must be holy to, for, you to be, for you to get happiness from God. Submit yourself so that you can enjoy God's will and not gladly. And when you do that, God is going to give you the best. And when you delight in him, he delights in you and your life becomes delightful and through that you're going to be a person who brings glory to your father's name you're the person who is going to bring glory to our god's name the person who is going to be seen by other people and they are going to glorify your god oh hallelujah i finish my sermon by telling you that my brother delighting in god is an expression of your personal relationship with him his delight in you is an expression of his love for you. 
be the kind of a person who relies in God my brother and my sister my sister i tell you be the kind of a person who relies in God walk with integrity and obey God's word when you do this oh hallelujah oh hallelujah when you are kind of a person who delights in God when you walk with integrity when you obey his word he will bless you and use you to bring glory to himself he will bless you my brother he will bless you my sister and he will make sure that he uses you to bring glory to himself he will make sure that he uses you to make sure that you take his message to other people he will make sure that he blesses you he will make sure that he uplifts you he will make sure that he heals you from any sickness that might be disturbing you my brother and my sister become delightful to god become delightful to god become a person a person who is close to god become a person who does what god wants you to do become a person who lives a pure life become a person who is so close to god become a person who respects god from today onwards i request you my brother and my sister wherever you are be it that you're in kenya be it that you're in africa be it that you're in america be it that you're in europe or wherever Australia or whichever country that you're in whichever continent that you're in be delightful in God be close to God be a person who respects God be a person who obeys God and once you do that God will bless you and he will make you to become the person who will bring glory to his name he will make you a blessed person he will make you a person who is full of favor in the mighty name of Jesus maybe you are there you have not come to god you're not saved i want you to repeat this prayer father i come before you i thank you father because of saving me lord may you father delete my name from the book of satan and may you father write my name in your book from today i'm your child thank you father because of saving me in jesus mighty name I want to pray you maybe you're there you're sick maybe you're there you have challenges in life I want to pray for you and I know that God is going to change your life God is going to bless you God is going to make you a new being God is going to give you a new beginning of your life in the name of Jesus I know that somebody somewhere is going to receive a miracle I know somebody somewhere is going to be blessed I know that somebody somewhere is going to be uplifted in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus I come before you thank you thank you father because of your message father lord you have told us to be delightful to you you've told us lord Jesus that we must respect you for you to bless us for you to make us Jesus to go far we must respect you we must obey you in the name of Jesus I thank you because of your message and I know the lord Jesus my listener and my viewer oh god he or she is going to be delightful to you from today in the name of Jesus this person is going to respect you from from today this person is going to obey you from today in the name of Jesus thank you father because i know the lord jesus from now on what every sickness is going to obey us every wealth is going to obey us from now onwards you're going to heal this person from now onwards you're going to bless the business of this person from now onwards you're going to uplift this person in short jesus thank you father because you're going to cover this person with your favor in the name of jesus i bless you and i uplift you Jesus because I know the Lord Jesus from this moment the life of this person is going to be changed the life of this person is going to take another round in the name of Jesus thank you father because you've heard my prayer thank you father because of healing this person in the name of Jesus I pray for this nation Kenya I pray for this person from whichever country that this person is going to be oh god may you father bless this nation in the name of Jesus I worship you and I glorify you may you father continue bless sing me as your servant may you father continue increasing your anointing in me in the name of Jesus thank you father because of this message bless even the person who is going to share this message to other people i bless you because you're going to bless this person i uplift your name father because you're going to uplift this person in the name of Jesus we do pray trusting and believing amen amen god bless you 
God bless you. My name is Pastor John Gaho of Blessings Revival Center Church in the county of Kiambu, a place known as Kigumu. If you want to call me, you can call me using the number 0715-619-700. You can call me. You can WhatsApp me. If you are abroad, you can use plus 254 plus 254-715-619-700. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.